So one of the things that I cover on this channel with some regularity that gets a little bit of, maybe I will call it pushback or maybe some confusion from you guys, are Chromebooks. What I hear a lot when I mention a Chromebook of any sort is the comment that says something like, why would anyone want a Chromebook? They're useless, they're unusable, etc." cetera. Etc. So what I wanted to do here in this video is I wanted to basically make a case and explain why Chromebooks are actually as popular as they are because they are actually very popular. They've actually now overtaken OS X, Mac OS rather, uh, in terms of market distribution. Chromebooks are very popular. Chrome OS is booming and there are some really good reasons why that's the case and I'm going to go over those with you here today. So through the years I've actually used several different Chromebooks as my primary laptop device, as my primary secondary uh, device and I've had a lot of good use out of them. I've used things like the HP Chromebook X2 which was a rather cool detachable tablet device that screen would pop off the keyboard and now you've got a tablet. Uh, I've used the Samsung Chromebook Pro. Both of these things had a really nice three by two aspect ratio screen. The Chromebook Pro has a built-in stowable stylus with all sorts of cool screen snipping, drawing sorts of features. The X2 actually had a stylus that would stow there as well. And most recently we've had in the house the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, which has been another pretty solid Chromebook that has gotten some use around the house. Now, obviously now my primary laptop has been my Core i5 Surface Pro 7, and I really like the Surface line of devices. Their build quality is so good. They just do everything I want them to do so well, but that's not to say that if I had to in a pinch, that I couldn't get by with something like this Lenovo Chromebook Duet. And I know that this may sound crazy because that thing over there that I just set down when it launched was over $1,000 with all the accessories there. This thing can be had right now for $240. So let's explain real quickly kind of what your average Chromebook might be. In this case, this is a really inexpensive and somewhat popular Chromebook. So what kind of quality you should expect, and then we'll dive into in a moment what you can do with a Chromebook. So with the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, here's what you get. You get a device that is basically a super duper budget-minded uh, Surface style device. And here's what I mean. You've got this back here that will pop up like a kickstand, like that, to be sat down and then you have a keyboard. They will open up like so. So there's your device, okay? You see the inspiration there. Here's where things differ quite dramatically. With this thing, this, this backing cover here is magnetic and the whole thing will actually come off like that, revealing this kind of cool looking two-tone thing. And the keyboard will pop off as well. And now you have a really lightweight, I mean, it's, it's light a really lightweight, pretty decent little tablet that will work quite well and it rotates and does everything you'd want it to do. And you'll notice that when you're in this tablet mode, that it actually will adjust to a tablet friendly layout. I'll show you here so you can see it here. When I pop the keyboard in place, now you've got a desktop. Okay, you've got a, a more traditional desktop that may look a lot like Windows 10X and what you've seen. Pop it off, and now you're back into that tablet-friendly layout. And then when you want to put it all back together, it's pretty darn simple. Everything just kind of snaps into place, and there you go. There's your laptop. Really interesting design and a really interesting way to accomplish that design. And like I said, you know, for $250, it's a 1920 by 1200 display, so it's a little bit taller, which I do like. This one's only rocking four gigs of RAM and a MediaTek Helio processor, but guess what? It really doesn't matter because Chrome OS is so lightweight and it's doing such a small amount of work that this thing really does move pretty quickly. And I think that kind of encompasses the first point of why people buy a Chromebook, and that's because it's just cheap. They're inexpensive and they're pretty durable most of the time. They're not built like a Surface Pro 7 that's all magnesium. While granted, you can get some really high-end Chromebooks, most people are buying cheap Chromebooks like the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. They're almost disposable for some people. 
And you don't need high-end specs. You don't need to be driving an i5, an i7, 16 gigs of RAM. You can get by with a basic Helio processor and 4 gigs of RAM and have a totally fine experience. Two of the other devices I mentioned here, like the Samsung Pro or the X2, both did have an Intel Core M3 processor. And while, yes, they were faster than this Lenovo, by no means is this Lenovo unusable or even really slow. If you just need a cheap laptop to browse the web and kick around on, a Chromebook is a really good way to go. So like I said, obviously you can browse the web on your Chromebook. You can do that on just about anything. But what else can you do? Turns out you can do quite a bit on a Chromebook and there's two primary ways that you're going to get things done. So the first and most obvious one is just through that web browser. Through Chrome, you can get a lot of stuff done. There are PWAs or progressive web apps for a lot of things. So the web browser is a more and more powerful tool as time goes on, of course. However, what else can you do? Well, Chromebooks now have access to the Google Play Store. So now anything that you can do on an Android tablet, you can now do on a Chromebook because a Chromebook is essentially now nothing more than an Android tablet with a tr proper desktop environment and a desktop class web browser. So if you're considering buying an Android tablet, Something like this Chromebook Duet is a really logical way to go if you think you might ever want a desktop class web browser and a keyboard to, to use that device like a laptop. Now granted, Samsung has this going on with their tab line of, uh, of, of tablets, with their keyboard cases and so forth, and their DeX style interface. They're doing the same thing. To be honest, they're kind of just making Chrome OS at this point, which is not a bad thing, because Chrome OS is quite good. So what kind of apps can you run from this uh, Play Store integration? Well, some of the ones I like to use are, for instance, a more proper uh, weather app that is actually used by storm chasers because I'm a little bit of a weather nerd and everything works quite well. You can pinch to zoom and, and drive this thing around just like you would on an Android tablet. In fact, you can install and run the Xbox Game Pass app, which will let you stream games to this cheap little Chromebook. And if that's not quite your speed, maybe you wanna stream things that you have on your local computer for even better performance. Well, how about installing something like Moonlight, which actually works really, really well as well, which this will let you stream games from your computer to this. What about keeping up with social media? Well, you could use Instagram's website, but you're gonna be missing some features there, right? Messaging and things like that. Well, how about just run Instagram right there? Let's let's say you wanna browse Instagram. We're gonna pin that there. We're gonna put the web browser over here. Let's just expand that over. And now you've got an interesting little little desktop environment here where you're going to be browsing the web here while you're browsing through Instagram and it all works really well. What about as a multimedia device? Well, something like YouTube is going to work really, really well. And since it is a larger screen, you're going to get a pretty decent experience here in a tablet sort of form factor. And again, what about getting some work done? Well, guess what? You can install Microsoft Office's Android apps. They're gonna work just like they do on any Android tablet. And of course, games are an option as well. If you're buying this thing for maybe a kid or something like that, well, guess what? Roblox does work on your Chromebook Among Us does work on your Chromebook, all these things work just fine. What if you wanna get something a little bit more technical done? Well, they've got this feature here where you can actually run a, a Linux apps, rather I should say, in a shell within Chrome OS. Now your mileage will vary there depending on a few factors like the Chromebook, what processor it's running. This Chromebook Duet has been a little bit hard for me to get certain things running on, but it is there as a feature on a lot of Chromebooks. And you can literally install full-blown Linux on a lot of these Chromebooks in a dual boot kind of situation where you can run full-blown Ubuntu and do whatever you need to do there and then switch back to Chrome OS whenever you want to do that as well. I want to show you this as well. We're going to literally just run the update that is here waiting. I'm going to let you see this in real time. We're going to hit restart the update, and I'm going to tell you when this thing is back up and running because it is super, super fast. Windows 10, we all know how this thing is when it comes to taking forever to update. You know, you, it, it can interrupt what you're doing 
and it's gonna take half an hour to get done updating. I'm already back at my Chrome launch screen. It should be showing up here picture in picture. Here shortly, I'm about to log in. I'm logging in now. And just like that, we are back at our desktop. Updates are super, super quick. Startup is super, super quick. Battery life is really solid as well. So at the end of the day, I think that's really the case to be made for a Chromebook. Do you need something simple? Do you need something you can watch YouTube on, Netflix, Hulu, maybe do a little bit of light Android gaming, browse some social media, things like that, and you don't want to break the bank. You want something that's going to last you a couple of days between having to charge it, a couple of days of light usage without having to charge it constantly. Maybe you like the idea that it charges over USB-C. Maybe you want something that could be a tablet sometimes, a laptop other times. Chromebooks are potentially a really solid way to go. Now, obviously, because I can see the comments already coming, but Shane, I do X, Y, and Z, and Chromebooks can't do that. That's fine. If the things I've mentioned to you aren't what you do with your laptop, or there's something else that you need to do, great. Buy a Surface. Buy something that's a Windows laptop and do that there. But I have to tell you something. That's not most people. If you need to do these more technical, I'm a coder or something like that. That's like nowhere near a majority of people. That's like 1% of people that use a computer. Most people do the things I just mentioned. And that, plus the education sector, which is booming for Chromebooks because of Chrome Enterprise and things like that, Chrome for Business, Chrome for Schooling, the administrative tools that are offered for Chrome OS, all of these things combined equal Chrome OS absolutely booming. So guys, I hope this was enlightening for you guys out there that may not know what is so great about a Chromebook for some people and why Chromebooks are booming the way they are. They're an Android tablet with a desktop browser and a desktop when you need it. So guys, I'll see you on the next video and until next time, stay nerdy my friends.